Okay, what exactly is going on right now? Are you going to say anything about my hair? What do you mean? <laughs> you don't notice anything different. Um, uh, I mean, maybe... You know what? Forget about it. You literally don't even care. Okay. Oh, hey! We are just simple creatures, so it can't possibly be our fault. Until it is, unfortunately. Next, we have Joey Swole just educating a gym influencer on the rules. Your shirts, can you at least have some muscles? That's tight. If you're not going to wear a shirt, can you at least have some muscles? Listen, I get it. You want to train at a gym where everyone keeps their shirt on? That's fine. But this gym isn't one of them. I called Absolute Recomp in Texas, and their rules say you can train with your shirt off, and you signed up there. Therefore, you need to follow the rules, including the rule that says you don't film people without their consent to post on social media. And people tried to tell you this, yet you arrogantly posted your response when they tried to defend this man, and you didn't listen. Therefore, you get me. How much does a man got to make a month to be with you? He got to make 40K a week. 40K a week? The f Why 40K? Make it a week. How much do you make a week? The question wasn't too hard. You said, All right. Do you make more than that? That wasn't the question. Why you took the question? You said how much he got to make, not how much I got to make. So basically, he has to make $2 million a year. But what exactly would she do in return? Now, this next one has got to be a major win. Go. When your crazy girlfriend still pulls up to your house after you blocked her. There's no way. What are you doing? I'm here. What are you doing here? You blocked me, so I showed up. I told you not to come. And I don't listen. I blocked you for a reason. Okay, and I know where you live, so... You know where I live, so that's why you still yes, came? Yes, I came, because I don't know why you blocked me. Well, I'm going back inside. No, you're not. Why can't I? Because you're not. Get in the car. I should have bought you on Snapchat. And that would have not made a difference. Still would have showed up. I'm not getting in the car. Get in the car right no, now. No. Get in the car. Some will actually say that if she's not like this, then they wouldn't want her. Yet the drama isn't exactly for everyone. Next, we have just a master class of sarcasm. I think they're the prize. We like, are. Nobody's chasing you. You are. Nobody's. <laughs> you, you are. I'm not going to lie. All I heard was, I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm an independent mommy. Like, what do I need a man for? Okay. Move in alignment with that. Why do you keep talking? Right now that I'm in my soft guy era, I'm starting to realize you guys actually do need us. We actually are the prize. You guys beg us. When are you when are you going to take me serious? Never. How about that? Never. I'm never taking you serious because you're not paying for anything. You're like you're just broken. And then you want me to take you serious and date, you No. pick up a bill. Once you pick up a bill, now we can start to talk. Fellas, make sure you open your lady's Ready? car door. Feel me? She's supposed to be your queen. I can't stand that mother. I swear to God, I can't stand that. She always on my body. Like I don't know what the fuck to do, bro. You know she's supposed to be your fucking queen, and you gonna treat her like a mother queen. You feel me? The switch up right there. Plus, this has got to be what plenty of us are thinking, but are too afraid to say it. Next, we have a fairly awful restaurant encounter. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Can I please get a refill for that margarita? Oh yeah, sure. What were you having there? I had a margarita. There's no free refills on the margarita. Oh, okay. Can I get a refill? No, no. You have to you have to pay for a second one. There's only refills on the non-alcoholic beverages. Oh, okay. Cool. Can I just get a refill for the margarita? Are you deaf? No, I think it had tequila and like a mango drink. The only thing you're getting is to lick that salt off the rim and enjoy that drink if you're not having any money to spend. Why are you ordering drinks here? You should go somewhere else. You should be ordering that. Do you know me, by the way? Excuse me? Do you know who I am? Excuse me, ma'am? I don't know if you think this is somewhere where you think you're noticed, but um, you pay for drinks here. Even if the president walked in, we pay for drinks here. Do you have a moment of time for me to talk to you? I'm 
That would be cool, though. Ain't no competition, just compete. How old are you, son? Bro was in fact brave enough to attempt this in the modern era and in front of her friends too. So that was definitely super risky. Now this next party encounter will definitely surprise you. She just likes the attention that you give her. How do I know this? <laughs> oh, because she tells you that she just wants to be friends, but then expects you to do some boyfriend shit and treat her like a girlfriend. So basically, she's just wasting your time. Yeah, someone with self-respect doesn't allow someone to use them for things like attention and resources. Hi, right, good. How are you? Awesome. Is this one today? Yep, just me. All right, awesome. I know you said you didn't want a water, but you're Oh, fine. thank you. <laughs> hey, um, quick question. Um, where, where's the food? I'm sorry, um, it's just like, this is this is like the worst service I've ever had. I'm so sorry, I can't, yeah. um, I go check on your food and I think my manager to come over here and talk to you. Like, yeah, because I got to report you or something, because it's pretty bad. Okay, I'm so sorry, is it, was it something specific or Yeah, I just like the way that you looked at me and just like the overall service is just terrible. Okay, I am Yeah, because like I've never had this happen before, like anywhere. Totally kidding. I just wanted to, to give you a hard time. <laughs> oh, it's great when someone takes her job super seriously, cares about you, and can take a joke on top of that. A rare find indeed. How would you feel if one of us had an ex-partner tattooed on us, like their name? I'm sure like the partners kind of feel a little weird about someone else's name being on their skin, no? I don't feel insecure. Like give me an example, what's that guy's name? Ben. Ben, like if, if you had Ben, tattooed on you somewhere? Yes. I'll just add a D and an over to it. And then, and then it would be like a whole new tattoo. It'd be like fun. <laughs> You're clear. He's clever. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, actions speak louder than words. You should already know something rather than be told by someone else. Your fiance right now, if he gave you a guilt free pass to sleep with anybody, would you use it? If it was Michael B. Jordan, yes. <laughs> this is awkward. This is, this is it, she's sister. marrying my brother. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so weird. Thank you for pulling in the stuff. Hey, Mr. What in the world? Might want to be a little bit more serious. Really, like, that. I want it work. I want a consistency. So the ring is supposed to just be the end or be all. The ring is supposed to be like, oh, she took the ring. I, I couldn't do it. She keeps saying this whole, I moved on, I moved on, I moved on. Like somebody gives a f Like you got a few things misconstrued. You moved on. Great. Today, so have I. If you I cannot you. be there I with me the at my Yo, worst, I, I don't right. want you at I, my mother's I would sit your mom here, and she knows that I was there, and she knows that I had to get up and go just so and you, you could be cry. who you are right I don't now. Go on You're seat. just a. Oh, I, I cannot believe you. I know. What is the age range of your ID? 28. 23 to 28? Yeah. I don't have a type. Minimum height. I'm 6'3. And minimum income. Just depending on what's on that fee. Six figures a year, I'm guessing? Yes, that's Six actually figures. perfect. The probability of you finding your ideal man is 0.075%. Oh, so I'm one of a kind. Okay. Okay. One of a kind entails as something as super special, unique, and hard to find. But it seems like having super high standards is becoming a little bit common.
Should I care if my girlfriend has a celebrity crush? The answer is, of course you should care. This tells you is if she was in a situation where that celebrity popped into her life, she would immediately pick him over you. Celebrities are humans just like anybody else, and they should be treated as such in the relationship. Yeah, a king is supposed to be numero uno and should be treated as such. No others within that circle should come close. We do not sleep with somebody that we're not attracted to. We don't care if you're nice as guy sleeping on his mom's couch and he's got game mm -hmm. she won't friend zone him she, but she'll friend zone a nice guy who does all the right things and she's not actually attracted to she'll take your money she'll take your time and then she'll tell you goodbye God. so make sure they're attracted to you Damn. before you spend money on them you eventually get tired of trying to hold on to someone that doesn't want to be held on to anymore you get tired of feeling like you're begging for a text back tired of feeling like you're bothering them tired of always being the one to text first you just get tired of asking for the bare minimum and you just stop i stopped over explaining myself and realized if they really wanted to put in the effort they would if they wanted to they would don't waste your time on somebody that doesn't even like you next one reads pov you finally accepted that you just need to be alone and focus on yourself So let's see what y'all... Can I bag you right now? Can I get your dog? Am I cute? Because <laughs> you're looking at me like I'm cute. So then I, that, that's what it is. That's it. What the f*** was that? <laughs> mm, how am I going to give my wife the perfect Valentine's Day gift when she already has me? Like, sometimes I look at her and I'm like, you are so lucky I chose you. Like, you should be on your knees. Excuse me. Thanking your lucky stuff. Who are you talking to? Hello? Who's humoring this conversation? Oh, what, what's up there? One of the worst feelings in the world has to be if you're like waiting for someone to text you back and you check if they've texted you and they still have it, then you start re-rationalizing it again in your head. And then what happens is after enough time, you just enter a state of nirvana where you pretend like, I don't care, it doesn't affect me. I'm just Yeah, with the phones, it's so easy for them to get so much attention and then immediately hide behind a screen. So don't really know if that's the best communication method. You have a cat. No, I don't have a dog. Do you think I'm pretty? No. Don't take offense. You don't need validation from me. I you bet look like you have small. Mm -hmm. They haven't even dropped. Okay, look. I want to try something really quick. Oh, what is this for? What we about to get into? Hold on. Ooh. <laughs> I got your phone. I, I don't care. Oh, you don't care? No, I don't. So care. I can have your phone. Uh, yeah. I'm okay, fine. Wait, what? Bro, don't. Stop, stop, stop. No, no, just, just watch. Stop, don't drop me. Don't drop I'm me. Good at this no, game. no, I you're guess not, bro. Jokes are fun, but if they were actually serious, then that's not really that good of a sign. Because then they'll be considered games and not really that preferable for many. What would you want his income to be? I feel like this is gonna sound bad. I feel like like three hundred thousand. I would have to say one twenty-seven. Probably one fifty to a quarter of a million a year. Five hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> Is that bad? 150, maybe to 250,000 a year it would be comfortable for sure. I was just having this conversation with a friend, and she was like, "You have to manifest a husband." I do. My husband needs to be making like 650,000. So you said you want 500k. But what do you think the median income is for a three-year-old? 60k, 70k. It is 45,000 dollars. Oh my god, really? Yeah. I think it's $250,000. It's $52,000. What? No, it's not. <laughs> Damn. What did you learn from your first heartbreak? I'm just a lucky guy. I fell in love many, many years ago, 55 years ago, and still with the same woman. What would you say then to young people that may be worried that they'll never find that sort of love? Oh, don't worry about it. it it'll come. When you least expect it. See, I take it for granted, but some people get married two or three times. I'm a tailor for, for you know, celebrities and what have you. And I have clients come in, they've been married three times. But you know what? They're still happy. So it's not bad. It's not wrong, you know? Yeah, back in the day, there weren't so many apps and the options making it harder and harder for people to want to settle. Or so they believe they are settling. That any emotional labor I do that's not for her convenience or not that she's something she specifically asked for that either goes unnoticed or when i'm saying something that's not favorable
It gets used against me and it becomes about how she feels about what I said and not about the shit that Ladies, I said. Ladies, he making something too much sense. Somebody cry. Somebody cry. I'm, I'm, Somebody cry. So because, because saying that, all right, now we got our own money, we want y'all to be emotionally intelligent, that's a great fucking argument until it becomes a real life situation and you start to deal with an emotionally intelligent and you realize it ain't been enough of them in your life and you don't know what to do with that type of You're not lying. This You're not don't come sitting in front of me that know how to express himself right. complaining when I um, express myself. You understand what I'm saying? As the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make it drink. Your time is better spent trying to improve yourself than to try to fix someone else. Are in relationships and are ruining them because of what your homegirl said. Not knowing that your homegirl don't want you having a better relationship than she got. It's bad. Oh my god, look, it's such a pretty night. I'm here too. I'm here too. I was gonna record you. Stop the cap. Uh -huh. <laughs> I quit at being independent. I don't want to do it no more. This is draining. Take care of me. My tires pop. Two of my tires pop. And I'm sitting in my car because I don't know what the f to do. Obviously, I know what the f to do, but I don't want to do this no more. Like, I'm ready to have someone come into my life and take care of me. This shit is so draining. This in independent life, like I don't want to do this no more. I quit. I want to be spoiled and taken care of. Cause I don't have to. I shouldn't have to be stressing about it like this. Someone can want the rewards, but are they willing to do their part and deserve it? That is up for them to decide how much effort they will ultimately put in. One secret you never told your ex. I cheated on you. I'm mm, Like 17. Why is that? I wanted to. Okay, just leave it. Why didn't you do it? Because we were so in love. Yeah, some might find cheating and causing drama to be fun, but it actually is not the best for the relationship. Shocker, shocker. Striving for peace and simplicity might be better. You want to give me a kiss on the cheek? A kiss on the cheek. Bought him skincare products that cleared his acne. He found his confidence and left me. <laughs> Paid his deposit and rent for a month for him to tell me we're not going to be together. <laughs> Read car magazines and quizzed myself because he was into cars. That's low. That's mortifying. That's the lowest of low. <laughs> and quizzed myself. <laughs> Washed and bathed his mum whilst he cheated on his girlfriend. Whilst he cheated on his, his girlfriend. girlfriend. What has he told his mum that you are to him? You're not his girlfriend and you're not even a sighting. Who are you? And you're bathing his yeah. mum. Yeah, it's interesting when the ones that are putting in so much effort and trying to do pretty much anything for them are the ones that probably get ignored. But then the ones that they want are actually ignoring them. Makes sense. That's my age for $100. 24. 23. Uh, 25. 21. Oh! Wrong. Okay, rate me out of 10. Two. Seven. I'll give you a two. Yeah, I'll give you a two as well. Well, I was going to give you all $100 each, but since you rated me a two, you get nothing. Got a muscles, uh, I got a muscles two each, so. Oh, you want to know if you're really down bad for them? Well, have you ever played the game? I'm going to wait for them to actually text me first. And then uh, you're playing the game, and then they don't text you first. And then you start looking at your phone, and you're like, 
<laughs> why, why am I playing this one person game right now? Yeah, far too often if you don't decide to text her first, then you probably won't get a message at all. But what exactly happened to mutual effort? You post a pic on Instagram and you get 10 likes. You post the same pic on your story and get 400 views. The moral of the story is not many people like you, but they're watching. Let me guess. You have a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm married. You're married? I am. What's your name? Tara. Tara, I'm nice Juan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you anyways. Do you but live here? No, I used to live here, though. I'm, I'm from Arizona. Where's your oh, ring? Let me see. It's not on. You don't, oh, so you don't take it seriously. I know. Interesting. Interesting. Um, no, I do. I'm in town until tomorrow. <laughs> just here for some work and uh, family, you know. Cool. Yeah, I will. Do my number? What are you doing here? Anything cool? No. No? I was hoping you could tell me. <laughs> um, when, what is it? Thursday? Thursday, Thursday night. What is it? This Thursday. Thursday. Thing, well, there's no ring. Can I get your number? Um, sure, yeah. If I do something tonight, I'll let you know. I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there's like four others that are potentials, but so far I like you the best. <laughs> That's what I tell them all. <laughs> That's a good line. I like it. <laughs> okay. Unbelievable. I mean, the phone number doesn't mean much, but what exactly happened to being married? Guess someone might have forgotten. If I ask you out, what? does that mean that I have to pay for the date? No, I could pay for myself too. I, I, you, you invite me for the first round, I'm inviting you for the second round. Did you just say I don't talk to my family because they don't have followers? If they had followers, they'd be here right now. Did you talk about your mother? I mean, my mom has more followers than my sister. It's your mother. What does what, what she make? What do you care if she has followers or not? It's your mother. Can anyone tell me, like, what I would talk to my mom about? She's not going to be making me relevant. Yeah, like, hi, mom. Now I have a career and I'm famous. Like, that's what happens when you get famous. You cut people off. Seriously? I'm upset with it. Maybe because you guys aren't relevant either, so you don't understand. Maybe I'm just, I'm out of sync, I guess, because I didn't know you till today, and if you gotta wear it. I mean, what actually happened to appreciating things like character and unselfishness? Because those might just be a little bit more fulfilling than clout. I just went on a date, and it was arguably the most painful date I've ever been on in my f life. I love your TikToks. You're so funny. I love when you post. I can't wait. Every time you post, it makes me laugh. Ah, I also have dating stories of my own. I would love to tell you about them sometime. So we're exchanging a few messages back and forth, and then she sends me her number. I text her. So she's like, yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Weekends are usually when I'm most free, so we can grab coffee. I'm down. Let's do it on Saturday. So I'm like, yes, cool. Friday evening comes around, and I'm like, hey, are we still on for tomorrow? And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I have some like family stuff that just came up, but I'll let you know. Let's plan for next weekend. Not a big deal. It's fine. Family that happens. So she says, I appreciate you understanding. Thank you so much for being so considerate. I'll text you and we can make plans for the next weekend. Please, please make the small talk stop. Please. I kid you not. This conversation keeps happening almost every week for six weeks straight. But... She's got her own timeline. Every week that goes by, I am slowly realizing, oh my God, I feel like I'm becoming her therapy. You see, the nice thing to do is to let the other person know the moment that you cannot make it. Not wait for them to text them and be like, oh, sorry, something came up. Because that indicates that you probably don't care for them much. Would you date him? No, he's f And that, um, that hurt. I think that just that flipped the switch in me where I was like, okay. If I ask her what she was up to this week and it doesn't involve four different lunch parties and 
dinner with at this special event and but, a night out at the can I say like that's their career you know yes so they're invited to these things and they have to network and, and 100% make those money moves you asked me a personal question and if that's their career that's fine that's personally just on my wolf a little bit more motherly mm -hmm. stays at home maybe sure she has a career but I don't want to build it flying out multiple times a year for these big events and it has to stay out late and associate yourself in circles which for me are just not I don't personally associate myself because I just know good things don't happen in those circles I mean, it's not the most difficult thing to explain. By large, we are simple creatures and just want peace at home. And how hard could that possibly be? I give you a thesaurus, a list, an encyclopedia. Ask what she brings to the table. You can't even write it on the back of a stamp. <laughs> Man. For the past six years, I see her from time to time and we fool around. But to me, it's more than that. I've been feeling the same heartbreak for six years oriented or not because the truth is a person's going to stay with you based on your action diana how, how would you know? know your own reality tells you that because they're not giving you that commitment oh, talk about it it's, it's about taking accountability let's talk about it when something isn't really going your way you cannot sit back and wait for someone to knock on your door with a solution in 99.9% .9 of occurrences we have to put in the effort to get what we want oh delusion comes in and it is the idea that you had with a NBA athlete with a famous DJ an actor with a famous country singer and then maybe you had with them again whenever they came through town and you started telling your friends you were dating him but of course everyone knows you're not dating him he has a wife back home or whatever and you start believing because in your mind you attribute this athlete artist whoever as a 10 you start thinking your value 10 also so sad when i watch some of my friends that get into their 30s and 40s and they legitimately tell me that they were dating someone and i'm like you are dating that person i've literally been to his house with his wife and kids we're never dating him <laughs> someone that doesn't appreciate the things that you do for them like especially getting them front row seats like come on she never posts you on her social media i say that's a good flag because like i don't really be posting that much either i feel like it just really depends on the like, relationship she doesn't have your same religious beliefs i say that's a good flag i really look at like person i'm like if her religious beliefs are really like weird or something like that, and that's different but we live in america and it's like diverse over here so i can't really be picky because we have so many different cultures here her father is a billionaire i mean green flag well it depends how she how she was raised that's the thing because if she was raised right then i don't think it would really matter if her dad's a billionaire but if she was raised spoiled then that'd be like a red flag too so oh. she follows me on social media well, green flag all the way. when you get married she doesn't want to change her last name that's a green flag my mom didn't change her last name either so for me it was not really a big deal if she does that's great if she doesn't then yeah. i don't really care Funny stuff, status and money can definitely change the way that you are perceived. And you can get away with stuff that the average person probably can't. Hey, I'm so excited to go on our first date. So what's your favorite color? Mine's green. Um, just so we can like clear the air and get things out of the way, I just wanted to let you know that I just got out of a relationship like a week ago, but I swear I do not care about him anymore. I'm so glad we already have trust. I think I love you. <laughs> do you love me too? It's just the first date? Yeah, I know. When do you think we could go on a second date? Because I really think you're the one for me. Wearing makeup, a lot of makeup. I think I think most girls are naturally beautiful. Let me see, this one might need a little makeup, but um. I broke up with him, it was too much. He was too great. We did it for three months. He was not a pushover, he had friends, he was cool. He was perfect. And he took me places and spent money on me. He had a car and he had a bank account and he had health insurance. And I broke up with him. I went back to my ex who got me a $15 gift card to Taco Bell for my birthday. <laughs> Sometimes
sometimes you can put in so much effort and it just doesn't get reciprocated. Which doesn't seem like the fairest thing, but you should try to not let that happen to you again. So he said, hey, you married? And I was like, yes. And he said, you happy? And I was like, no, I am. <laughs> and the reason why I said no was because one, I'm brutally honest. And two, I was not happy at the time. But what does me being unhappy have to do with whether or not you have a shot? Here's the thing I realize. A lot of married people don't know how to be unhappily married and still not walk away. If you can learn how to be unhappy for a minute, your marriage will last. Because the goal in marriage is not happiness. The goal is to build a lasting relationship that withstands um, the, uh, the ebbs and flows of marriage, of relationships. Of DeMarco, we need another one. <clears throat> Where's the applause? Someone finally said it. Yes. You too well, caught into your emotions. You. Oh, you ugly. Oh, this. I, ain't, this, I don't do that. You know? Because if I do that, guess what's going to happen to me? You're you going to be complaining a whole that you don't want me. <laughs> you don't want me. I'm. I'm. So why would I say you ugly? I have the time. If you wear something that I don't like, sometimes I say, you know what? I'm going to just let her make it because she thinks it's cute. I'm going to just let her say it's cute. Because if I say, baby, that's, that's an ugly style you got on. It's what you say. Uh, so it's somebody, so somebody it else that, that look better. It's somebody yes. else that can wear this better. See, yes. that's... Oh, put on the exact God. same thing that you told. Yeah, it's much easier to keep an opinion to yourself if you know that you're probably going to be criticized for it. But that prevents open discussion, which should be ideal. Imagine the day they see you again. And you are just... Well... Better. What's the longest relationship? My What's something you've done for love or money that you regret? This was with like my ex. They like and he was cheating on me. So I had a camera in his apartment and then I found out when she was in there and then I broke in when she was in there because I made a copy of his key and he didn't know. And then um, I got her key and then I made a copy of it. And then I broke into her apartment. I started just like leaving in there because she had a boyfriend and then he broke up with her and then I like started talking to him. Like my original plan was to like him because I was angry. Like I was going to have like breakups. But then he was just like really boring, so I just ended up ghosting him. Yeah, having loads of drama may not really be the most ideal thing. Because the outside world is already a tough place, so why bring it into the household? Are you ready to be honest and tell me that you're cheating on me? I didn't cheat on you. You went on a date with this girl. It wasn't a date. She literally told me that you took her out to eat. No. Yeah, and you guys up. You can't sit here and deny that. I am denying because it's not true. It, okay. Sure. So are you saying she's lying? I'm saying she's lying. Let's find out from her. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Paula, can you tell him what you told me? So I pretty much told her that he took me to this really fancy restaurant and afterwards we went back to my place and... And that he came on to you in the car and you guys were kissing. Yes. Yeah, see? Oh, why would you sit here and lie? I lied because... So you weren't telling wait. the truth? I didn't think that she deserved you, so I lied. Oh my concerned. God. Clearly, she doesn't value the faithful, amazing man that you are. Oh snap, the switch up. She definitely wasn't expecting that. But far too often, the truth does eventually come out. So it's just better to be honest. Check out this next person venting. If he ever uses the phrase, if you want, or you can come round if you want, we can do something if you want, run. Tell me to be ready for eight. Tell me you have a surprise for me. Hey, if you want. Shove it up your... I'm 27 years old and it's like, I don't know where I'm going to end up. Who's going to be my husband? Like, where am I going to be in five years from now? Have you guys ever cried for no reason? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. For no damn reason. What, what was, what was going on in your life at the time that just tears just started falling? You're like, what the f*** is wrong with me right now? You know, sometimes you cry about things like you look at your age and sometimes I cry like I've cried like feeling bad about an unfavorable outcome does little to make it better action must be taken 
doesn't need a sign. That one is like the one y'all have. That only has to it's like this. Right. You guys paying separate or together? Uh, together. I'm gonna pay for it. I know that's right. And is it's giving gentlemen because why aren't you paying for the whole thing? Need my car back. Like me ever again. <laughs> There's no one else like me. <laughs> oh my god! The 19th and autumn was snowing from a stranger. I finally found the courage to ask out my friend. The night was not great when I was about to ask. She hugged me and said, I hope I can find a guy as nice as you someday. I never told her how I really felt, and now she's getting married soon. I guess she found that guy. Yeah, the friend zone can be a real tough place to be in. You can put in so much work and effort and have it not really be reciprocated. So have some self-respect. Affect your son growing up? It won't, really. You don't think it's going to affect him? How old your son? Not massively. He's already nine. He's nine. So when he gets into school... Yeah, but won't... like I've already planned all that. Like he's going to a private school as soon as he's in year do you, seven. Do you not realize private school is one of the... <laughs> <laughs> Where bullying isn't tolerated, what? do you mean? What? What? You guys think private school is some Harry Potter thing? No, you actually Harry Potter, Man yes. Yeah, actually, but Manchester School of Boys, like, it's mm, literally mm, the top mm, Let me tell you something, school. let me tell you something. Private school is one of the most ruthless places you can send your child to because the rest of those, you've sent them with money. Well, and you think all them kids are Listen, support. listen, you've sent them with money, mm. your money. They have old money. It's very different. It's very different types of money. So they're going to know exactly how you got, how your child got in there. Now, when they go into the, when they're playing rugby or they're doing cricket or they're doing all these other sports, what's going to happen is one of these kids, because they're rich, are going to have your subscription and your and they're going to bring it no, out. No, because I won't have Oh, but then, here's the thing, and here's the thing. Once you put it out there, it's out there. It's forever out yeah. there. And you have to be willing to understand what this stuff That's a W. You see, no matter what, do it for you and nobody else. And you don't need others' approval. Lots of great insight today, and don't forget to like and subscribe.